Hey y'all, Coach Unify here, and we're looking at the 5,880 years of human history. This is the 490 year times and visitations of the Shekinah glory. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. In Yahshua's name we pray. Amen. And so be it. All right. So what this means here is um, this is like a timeline of what we would call the 6,000 years of human history. So it starts there in the garden. And if you look at the time in which they fell from the garden in about 3907, what you have is the birth of Cain. Now, Cain came seven years after they fell from the garden. So that seven years should be included in all of this. And I have not included that seven years in any of this. That's actually the first time I'm really thinking about it seriously in this video. But anyway... If you start there at the time around the birth of Cain, which would be 3907 or 3914, if you back up uh, those seven years that they were in the garden before Cain, and then you go 490 years into the future, you'd be in a, or around, well, you would be in the time of Jared. You would be in the time of Jared. Now, it was during the time of Jared, around 3513 B.C. You see that in Genesis chapter 5 and verse 18. It was during his time, before Enoch's time now, that the angels fell. Enoch was born during the time of the fallen angels. And if you go 490 years from that period is 2927 BC, right there, 2927. And when you look, this will be during the time of Lamech, right before Noah was born. Noah was born in 2917. And so this is 10 years. So you have 10 years before Noah was born. So you had this kind of glory to come down 10 years before Noah was born. So that was during the time of Noah, like up there was during the time of Enoch. And if we want to apply a name, then you would have Seth, then Enoch, then Noah. Next, you would have Shem during the time of Noah's flood. And this is still in draft format. So praise our Father in heaven for the information and the ability to get this corrected. The error is because I didn't know what to put here. This is here you have the the fallen angels. But what was the period that Noah was born in? We understand the period uh, where the, when the flood happened. What's that 490 year period between the fallen angels and the flood? Anyway, we'll get that corrected. The next one is the Abrahamic covenant. That one would have been about 1947 B.C. Then you see we have the crossing of the River Jordan. And then after the crossing of the River Jordan, if you were to go 490 years, you would have the tribes divided. 967 B.C. That's the time of Rehoboam, who kept the kingdom during the feast days and kept them during um, um, the scripture according to the scripture and kept the two tribes together and so that's when the tribes were divided next would be the second temple this is the time during Daniel uh, Zerubbabel Ezra um, about 477 B.C. 
Now, to continue, we have to come to the 2023 update of this published data here. Um, it only goes to the time of Nebuchadnezzar when our Father in Heaven was allowing us to understand the timing of Jacob's trouble. But since then, we started trying to understand the tribulation and, and the time of such we, so we had to do an update in 2023. So let's take a look at it, at least where we stopped at it because it's still yet incomplete. Now, looking back at the celestial clock calendar, like we said, we're talking the year 477 BC. So that would be after Artaxerxes. So Artaxerxes would be our, ne our next guy. So Rehoboam and then Artaxerxes. And then that brings us to 14 AD, which would be the time when our, around the time when our Messiah made his debut. Now, this is a key pivotal point because what should be noted here is that the Messiah would have actually came before this 14 date. Because if you remember, it said he was 12 years old. Well, at 14 would be after his 12th birthday, right? So that showed that the Messiah came at the end of the Shekinah glory period. And that's important to note because we're at the end. We're about to start another one in 2024. I should say uh, April the 10th of 2024 is when we start another uh, 49 um, Jubilee cycle. Let me be careful because actually it was 1975 at the, the uh, 490 year time period began. But anyway, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Next up in time is 504 AD, and that's when we get to the Byzantine Empire. This is the same people who then pushed over the second temple and put the Dome of the Rock there you know, a couple of hundred years later. Um, after the Byzantine Empire, 490 years later, you have a split in the Catholic Church where you have the eastern side going against the western side. And so this will be Constantinople versus Rome. And then you go ahead 490 years, seven jubilee periods, you end up in the time when we got the Gregorian calendar, you know, which was another assault on our father and his kingdom. And but it was the last assault because if you go 490 years after that, you end up in 1975 when it's time for us to go into the garden, uh, back to the kingdom of heaven. If you would, go ahead and like and subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment down below, help promote this video. If you'd like to hear more about the Celestial Clock Calendar, you can go over to coachingthefight.shop.